Well, today is National Seafood Bis Day, and Chef Kev is here with a special dish to commemorate the day. There really has to be a day for everything. This is so specific. Well, you know, I try to find days to celebrate. You and know? you do a great job. And you know, hey, it, it, all right, Monica, find them. Um, <laughs> Listen, that's you. Gonna, you picked do. an amazing we wife. This is the benefits that's you get, it, sir. That's okay. It. And you know, when you think of a bisque, you think of a nice kind of a cream soup. Yeah, like thick. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're going for. So what I've got in the pot here, I started with butter. Beautiful. And I've been sauteing onion, celery, and I'm using a red bell pepper. Cool. Okay. Now, normally I always make corn and crab gang. And I guess it's because of the storms. I tell you what, crab meat is so expensive. Oh. In soups, I always like to use claw meat because claw meat is a little sweeter. But claw meat was running up to $30 a pound. Wow. Lump was running $38 a pound. Okay. So if you find some somewhere on sale, grab it now for the holidays. Okay. Hopefully, maybe by the holidays, it'll come back down. So that's why we're doing a shrimp and corn bisque that as opposed delicious. to corn and crab. And right? it's the last day like that it's going to feel like fall for a couple of days. So it's perfect yeah, for this soup. Will, this will, exactly. That so warm, warm you cup up. in your hand. Right. So I've been sauteing it down. And you can see in the pot, it's just got nice and tender. That's okay. what we want. We're going to get a little garlic in. Beautiful. OK. And we're going to get in some seasoning. Now, you know, when I do corn and crab, a lot of times you can use the meat from a crab boil. Yeah. And it'll have the flavor from the crab boil game. Ooh. So sometimes if you're doing a corn and crab, you might use a little bit of the corn and crab bisque. I mean, not the, the, um, listen to me. I'm going crazy. That's okay. A little bit of the crab boil. You're fine. You know the crab boil? Yeah, I know the crab right. boil. The crab so you can do delicious. that in your shrimp. You could do that in, 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 in the crab. Beautiful. So I'm going to use a little bit of our Creole seasoning. Yes, you are. Put a little and for a little heat, there. I'm using a little white pepper and a little cayenne pepper. Cool. Now, I wouldn't do this if you were going to use a little crab and shrimp boil. Yeah. Don't use this because it'll be too hot. So when you think of bisque, you think of thick. So now this is what's going to get it thick. Flour. So we aren't making a roux to where it's going to cook for a long time. OK. I'm going to get about a cup of flour in. Maybe a cup and a half in. OK. And I'm going to let this cook. I want this to cook down just for about two or three minutes to get that floury taste off of it. Okay? Sounds great. We don't want it to start turning brown. Now, in the pot next door to me, I'm making a little homemade stock. OK. And what I've got in here, gang, when I chopped up my onions, my celery, my bell pepper, I threw the onion down in here. The, look at the top of the bell pepper, the celery. But I also threw in a couple of gumbo crabs. Oh, wonderful. And I brought this up to a boil to get it hot, then turn it down really low, and it's been slowly simmering. Beautiful. So once this cooks, I'm going to start adding my stock. And then that's going to make a nice thick soup. This we'll, sounds so good. Can we get to my favorite part? The biscuits? The well, biscuits! We're going to make the cheddar biscuits in the Chef next hour to go with those. Chef red lobster biscuits. And I've never had a red lobster oh, biscuit. Oh, get out of here. Yes. I'm going to be shamed for this, but they're a delicacy. They are. And I stand by what I said, OK? OK. Well, hey. And look. Corn, fresh cut off the cob. OK. All right? Beautiful. So we'll get our stock in. Gang, we'll get our corn in. But we're going to get this up. And the last thing to go in, but not till the very, very, very end, the shrimp. The shrimp. OK, because we don't want to overcook them. You know yes. this smells good because Peyton was literally glued to the TVs trying to steal your secrets. Pey you, did Peyton you see him? has been walking around yeah, pacing back and forth. But gang. his eyes are like him. this close to the monitor over there. All right, help him out, Chef Kev. Stick with us, guys. Chef Kev will finish this dish and get over to the Red Lobster Biscuits at 7 and 8 over on WUPL. You can find this recipe and many more on our website, wwltv.com slash food. Leslie?